you. Welcome to Fun with Rent the Chicken. Homestead Phil here. I'm Homestead Jen here. And tonight we have Homestead Monica. Homestead Monica yes. from Indianapolis. Homestead Monica offers Rent the Chicken and yep. Hatch the Chicken. Yes. To all of Indianapolis and beyond. Yes. Yeah. And this weekend, now through Saturday, she is at the suburban indie outdoor living and something <laughs> expo. Thank you. Was yeah, that the it? Suburban indie home and outdoor living show. It was really, oh, really big. It was a really big mouthful. Is that close <laughs> to the racetrack? It is not. We're actually up in Westfield, which is just a little Indy. northeast of Indy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been to Indianapolis. We've been to the <laughs> racetrack and stuff like that. And, and, you know, I think everybody knows Indy for Go Indianapolis, Indianapolis 500. 500. Yeah. And for the motorcyclists, the yeah. MotoGP races that used to be there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway... And Yes. I was gonna say this week and we've got the NCAA in town too. The tur NCAA tournaments are all playing oh, here. So uh, it is a pretty happening spot right now. Oh, it yeah. is. Not it just is. the suburban indie Don't outdoor living and <laughs> expo. Homestead Jen will like put it in the comments <laughs> below so you can actually actually Homestead Monica will do it so, I, she, so, so we get it right. right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. So yeah. Homestead Monica. What's new on your homestead? Oh my gosh, we are just hustling and bustling. We've been making loads of new coops um, and we've got chicks hatching everywhere. We're super excited that we're going to be working with Purdue and the extension offices now, helping them offer rent, uh, excuse me, hatch the chicken for local schools. Uh, we actually launched that this coming week. It's going to be super awesome. And then we're sharing the chicken love out at the home show this weekend. Um, it's the only outdoor living and home show that's been approved by the health department for Indianapolis area. So, uh, you know, if you're needing an outdoor fix with plants or anything like that, it's a great place to be. We're going to be giving away free eggs all weekend. Nice. So stop by. We've got some uh, some goodies for the kiddos and some Easter basket specials. So it's uh, it's going to be a great time. Great. So is that like try these eggs and get hooked? Is that what you're doing here? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick, I, like I don't want to be enabler there. Self-conscious, but I talk with my hands like you do. But when you talk, your camera shakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's like there's an earthquake in Indianapolis. It's okay. So just you just know that when you're like moving your arm sometimes. She's so. egg egg excited. excited. I know. I so I need to know: is it um? I know that Homestead, Ron and Marie have lambs that are being born. Did we already miss goat season? Did you have baby goats already? We do not. We actually took the season off from breeding. Okay. So, you know, as you know, I'm expecting my own little bundle this summer. Yes. So you had <laughs> and, to steal uh, back somewhere, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, there are some things that goats can carry that could be dangerous for, sure. for me and mine. So yeah. we gave the girls a break this year. No problem. And kind of like kitty litter. Like you shouldn't mess with that. So probably just things with goats. Yeah. So um, yes. yes. So congratulations again. This is very, very <laughs> exciting. You. And you're due in July. July. Yes. yes. Wow. That okay. little firecracker coming. Oh, right. <laughs> As expected from your family. So earlier <laughs> you said Purdue. And the first thing I think is, are you talking about Purdue like university or Purdue the the other chicken company. <laughs> no, Purdue University. Okay. Um, and they they have an amazing vet program and agricultural program for for those who are interested in following those pursuits. And so with that, they sponsor all of the Indiana um, agricultural extension offices. And so we're partnering with them and through 4H and uh, sharing our chicken love as much as Man, we can. I was worried because if it was the chicken company, like what would happen to those baby chicks no, afterwards? Would happening. they go to Purdue? No, no. Yeah. I'm just yeah. seeing if I can find some of our comments because I wasn't seeing those oh, on the okay. other one. And we need to oh. see. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be some comments Oh, there, here. yeah. Okay. Well, there was a reference so, to the April Fool's. Yes, yes. <laughs> rent the donkey. Yeah. My kids so. were very sad it wasn't rent a pony. Oh, but well, that's more realistic. You know, somebody it's actually not my house. <laughs> they, 
they, they were, I think they're hatching chickens with us right now. And they were like, what's the gestation period for a donkey? For a donkey? And so I pulled out the farmer's almanac because I know that in the back here, there's uh, a gestation. And mm -hmm. of course they talk about sheep and goats and rabbits and chickens and ducks and stuff like They don't have donkeys in here. No. Useless. Well, it's Useless. Talk, but I don't know. Like protection, people use donkeys for protection. Did they? I'm sorry, Miss. Did they have horses in there? They do have horses, oh. but I don't know if that's the same. I don't know either. You get, they get me in trouble. Similar. Like, uh, yeah. Muscovy ducks are 35 days. I had no idea. I thought it was 28, <laughs> like all the other ducks. No. With my luck, you know, donkeys were like. I don't know, three months longer, three so months shorter. That they could have a donkey <laughs> that was pregnant so they can experience a donkey come to life like we have hatched the chicken. Hatched the donkey. <laughs> it's not Ooh. the same. It is not the same. Okay. Do <laughs> you have any questions for us? I do. You know, Easter's coming up this weekend. And uh, for us, it's always a big day with the family and, and feasting. So I just want to know what your favorite part for Easter dinner is. Hmm. Do you want to start? I will start. Okay, so good. I have a multi-tier answer, as you would expect from me, because <laughs> nothing is ever simple with me. Um, so first, we often have Easter on a different day at my mom's because she likes her own day. And what's interesting about my mom's is that it's never the same. Sometimes it's <laughs> like pizza and other times there's ham or there's like pasta of sorts. Yeah. I mean, it really is just different, whatever they feel like making. Like there's not a traditional food at my mom's, which is <laughs> super fun. Um, and then uh, we often go to my sister's then on Easter and um, the usual suspects of ham and various things. But I will say yeah. one of my favorite things through the years is my grandma would make the homemade chocolate covered eggs. Like mm. she made like homemade peanut butter ones and homemade maple and she'd make like, um, like a fruit cake one. So there was fruit, I didn't like that one. But, um, <laughs> but she also um, just those different kind of flavors that were mm -hmm. amazing. And she was just fantastic at it. So when I think it's favorite at Easter, I think of those eggs that were real special growing up. Oh yeah. 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 I think I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I guess it's my turn. So yeah. first off, if you're watching this live, even if it's not live, comment below, tell us what your favorite thing well, yeah. Easter is. Homestead, um, um, Susan said they're having a Polish dinner this year. So Polish. Oh, I want okay. I need to know, like, is that like sauerkraut? I don't know. She'll fill us in. I guess so. We'll yeah. have to wait and Hope see. She said, really said, yummy ham. Oh. And she also said, you're early. Listen, I'm never early for anything, but hey. we happen to be ready. So here we are. Ham. All right, here ham. it goes. Ham. Um, I love ham. It's great on Easter. After I eat it, all this other food, it doesn't really matter what's there for Easter. There's one important ingredient that has to be present at every Easter dinner or lunch. Do you know what that is? A chair so I can put my feet up, close my <laughs> eyes, fall asleep, and not have to listen to any of the family drama. Oh, he does. And that's his favorite for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah, too. it's the same. Yeah. I got to have a chair. got to put my feet and up. And he just takes a snoozer. And I am out, you know. Yeah. Uh, Hope said Jillian said marshmallow peeps. Peeps are her favorite. Well, she didn't oh. say marshmallow. Oh, no. She said peeps, my favorite Easter food. So I'm oh, hoping that she marshmallow means marshmallow peeps. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, sure. I would assume so. We don't eat the other peeps. There's not no. a lot of meat on the other peeps. No. Chicken nuggets. Uh, not even a nugget. <laughs> oh, oh, fried chicken. Here's the scoop on Polish Easter. You ready? Fried chicken, Polish sausage. There you go. I see kibasi. Yeah. Sweet and sour cabbage, pierogies. Oh, I love pierogies. Noodles, green beans, and hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Yeah, I do usually at Easter make some deviled eggs, or I think I've talked about it before. Um, deviled egg casserole, which is just egg salad. <laughs> I sprinkle some paprika on the top just to make it official. Looks like a bunch of- Anything else on there? Oh, it's confirmed that it is um, marshmallow, the marshmallow variety for the peeps. Oh, good. good. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. <sighs> I think I would like Polish, um, Polish Easter. 
with yeah. fried chicken, yeah. Polish sausage, yeah. pierogies. It sounds like Tuesday. <laughs> it does sound like Tuesday. <laughs> I, I don't know. Tuesday was for tacos. Oh, whatever. It whatever. just well, it just sounds like something we would eat on the regular. Wow. You know? So yeah. <laughs> Homestead Monica, last question of the night. You've got six eggs. What you cooking? Uh, well, it's Easter weekend, so I'm gonna hard boil those babies, and then we're gonna make deviled eggs. So everybody get some. Perfect. You so go. you probably need more than six. You probably need like a dozen or two. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> we have a bit of an army. You can do six, yeah. everybody gets a half. Listen, and deviled eggs, they are so smooth to go down. I know some people yes. talk about bourbon being smooth, but honestly, <laughs> like deviled eggs, just like From the girl that doesn't drink. I don't even drink, but it's hilarious. Right? <laughs> so they just you just pop them in and they're you said Phil made some deviled eggs for me recently. Mm -hmm. um, he surprised me. I went for a very long run because apparently I'm a runner now and the neighbor dropped me off on a, on a trail. And then I made that long run. Homestead Phil picked me up and I thought he was just going to bring me my peanut butter crackers. And he surprised me with some deviled eggs because he knew that the ah. eggs would be great protein for me at the end of that run. Yeah. Oh, we've got some other comments. <laughs> oh, potato salad. Someone would make mm -hmm. with their eggs and French toast. Of course, Homestead Ray Lee and her every week French toast answer. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just, um, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us again, the show that you're at this weekend. The suburban indie home and outdoor living. I was so close every, I think I had all the words every time. So, so we are rent the chicken, rent the chicken.com, hatch the chicken.com, homestead Monica's in Indianapolis. We have locations all over the United States and Canada. If you're watching and you're interested in renting some chickens or doing hatch the chicken, please be in touch because we are running low on the, in a lot of areas. Yeah. So be in touch and thanks Homestead Monica for signing in. Have a great next two days at your show. Whatever. Y'all yeah, have a, have a very happy Easter. You too, happy <laughs> Easter. All, All right. right. See you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.